What's up guys, welcome to Billionaire Punjabi Boys. Today we have got a beautiful house tour for you guys. It is a 1.395 million dollar house, 7 bedrooms, 5 bathrooms. The interior square footage is about 3600 square feet and the lot is about 9020 square feet. You've got 3 car garage behind me, you've got a big driveway. Let's go take a look at this. I'm so excited. So I've just finished making content in two different languages which I do in Punjabi and Hindi and now it's English. So it's just crazy. In your entryway you've got your massive door this is one of the beautiful one of the most beautiful doors I've ever seen and when you enter you step on this beautiful tile work and if you don't know in Canada it rains a lot where we live in in British Columbia you've got your coat closet so when you come in it's raining you just put your wet coat inside in your entryway you've got three separate things so the first one is you've got your wet bar let's say you know your friends are coming over Christmas is coming up you don't want your friends to go in your main house because I know for your privacy issues and all that the best thing is you've got your wet bar you have your full bathroom downstairs with water closet as well as your handheld shower and a tub Anyway, your friend wants to sit in a tub, take a hot bath, I don't know why, you can do that. Once we get out of from this part, we have a first bedroom downstairs. So this could be turned into an in-law bedroom because let's say, you know, your parents or your mother's side family, they're old and it's hard to go up and down every single day. So you just use this bedroom for them. Your garage accesses from this side. Let's check out the garage real quick. So the best thing is, uh, I haven't seen these lights in garage ever. So look at this light fixture. So this is, I think, Billionaire Punjabi Boy stuff. I know this, my channel is Billionaire Punjabi Boys, but it's gonna be multi-millionaire houses in a couple years. You know, everything takes time. So if you stick around, it's gonna happen, guys. All right, let's take the stairs to the main level. On your right-hand side, you've got millwork. On your staircase, you have glass as well as coffered ceilings, as well as your expensive, I wouldn't call this a chandelier, but it's a some sort of a light fixtures. It's just coming up, it's behind me right now. And I've, I've seen these light fixtures get pretty common in expensive houses nowadays. Let's check out the balcony first. So as we go out, you have your beautiful mountain views, as well as a bit of your ocean views. And you also see BC Ferry. So if you don't know, this is Nanaimo, British Columbia. We have to take ferry, one hour 45 minute ferry to Vancouver. And uh, that's BC Ferries, if you guys don't know about it. As well as on this level, this would be your living area where you'll put your couch, as well as you've got gas fireplace. And these are one of the beautiful light fixtures I've seen. And at this price point, as well as you've got your storage back there. And you've got cotters, countertops, beautiful light fixtures, fridgeware appliances, as well as stove. You've got gas stove. They have spent money here, guys. The, the storage is pretty good. And this is your oven plus your microwave. And you have got your separate oven as well. And the best thing, if you guys don't know about this, there are spice kitchens in Asian households. It's pretty common because, you know, we cook spicy food in our household. So they have got their separate spice kitchen. So a uh, house doesn't smell spicy. And you've got this beautiful microwave. These are getting common in expensive houses, so they have this here. As well as you've got your separate dishwasher in your spice kitchen. As well as you've got one dishwasher outside as well. Now guys, we are heading to our bedroom wing. We have four bedrooms upstairs. Before we look at the bedrooms, on your right hand side, you've got your pantry. You can put all your masalas in. As well as on your left hand side, you've got your separate washer and dryer. I haven't showed you the two bedroom basement yet, but I'll show you shortly. On your right hand side, you've got your first bedroom. The best thing I like about is, you know, the bedside lights, you know, at night you're reading a book. You don't know, get out of the bed, it's cold. You just turn off the lights from here and uh, don't worry about turning on the main lights. And you've got your picture window. You still get mountain views from this room and all three bedrooms. So we've got four, uh, four bedrooms upstairs. All three have same size closet. And the fourth master bedroom, it's got a bigger closet, obviously. As we come out of the first bedroom, you've got your first washroom. You've got your sink, as well as your water closet, as well as your handheld shower and your tub. So if you want to sit in, you can enjoy it, relax. On those winter days or Christmas days, you just want to do that. The best thing is two bedrooms share this washroom coming up onto the second bedroom. They're similar size bedrooms that we looked at same lights it's got same materials you've got 
beautiful picture window as well as you see you don't have a backyard but you see this rock which looks beautiful it feels like you're in some sort of a jungle or something like that and i told you that two bedrooms share this washroom so you have your entryway from here same size closet as the first bedroom and now we are going to look at the second last bedroom that we have so this is i'm not sure who's going to take this bedroom I know there's going to be fight over this for sure if big family moves in. This is a bigger bedroom than those two bedrooms we looked at. But same size closet. It's got a bit bigger windows. But the best thing about, I like about this house is it's got its, uh, it's got its own separate washroom. Same thing, you've got your sink, your water closet, handheld shower and your tub. As we get out of this bedroom, you've got your final master bedroom. So I'm a realtor. I've done a couple open houses there. People are loving the light fixtures of this house. And you've got two bedside lights, which same, you can read books. Also your oversized windows, you have your mountain and a bit of ocean views and the master closet. So if you guys don't know, in British Columbia, real estate is expensive. And uh, this is a average one bedroom basement size room, which is a closet here. And uh, if you take a look at your master washroom, you've got your double sink, you've got double lights, as well as your water closet, as well as your rain head shower, as well as your handheld shower, and you've got your jacuzzi tub. I don't know what you guys are expecting, much more than this. Do you want a sauna in your washroom? And uh, let's go take a look at the two bedroom basement suite which we didn't look at and uh, we'll go from there so there are two entries for your two bedroom suite as well as you can enter from your main house as we enter on your left hand side you've got your first bedroom you've got similar same size closets in the uh, suite it's not I, i'd said basement it's not basement it's ground level and you have your window so you know you feel cozy you don't feel like you're in a smushed up area you've got your washer and dryer on this side and you have one common washroom for both the bedrooms and this is the second bedroom we have same size closet the room is not that big this one's a bit smaller than the other one we looked at you still got a window here so that's a good thing and this would be your washroom same thing you've got your beautiful the best thing about this washroom is it's got tile in there the one we entered from the main house so same tile also the thing i love about this is you've got your handheld shower as well as there's a pot light on top of the shower so that's a good thing as we go along there's the kitchen you have a dishwasher which is a good thing to have so this would be your second entryway this would be your again coat closet you know it rains a lot this would be this is your second entryway so what you do is you just enter from there and this would be your main entryway for your two bedroom suite two bedroom suite oh, i thought i again said basement guys if we talk about the backyard we don't have much of a big backyard the reason being you know the construction gets expensive because of this this bedrock so it's you know they blast it to make lots that's why this is one of the reasons why real estate is expensive in british columbia and this is this is the only backyard kind of thing you get in bc majority of the houses that have this kind of back back wall thank you for watching my video guys if you guys enjoyed this house tour please give a like and a follow that would that would mean a lot to me and we are continue growing our billionaire punjabi boys community and i'll i'll, I'll tell you this billionaire punjabi punjabi boys is going to be the future i'm telling you let's get started this is this is just the beginning guys thank you for watching guys peace out